Most Canadians don't relate fingertip freezing cold with making art, but for some, the cold winter months are the perfect time to practice some carving. I like to work with my hands and, uh, you know, being able to carve something so big so quickly, you can't do it in any other medium. Seeing the sparkle of the sun reflecting off the detailed sculptures, it's no wonder that huge crowds of people could be seen taking part in the fun at this year's ice sculpting competition at Winterlude. This particular event, the championship, was uh, the most fun I've had so far. Ice carving is becoming very popular all over the world. You know, it, it brings in big, big crowds. Um, like at Winterlude, you know, last weekend we had record crowds of over probably something like 300,000 people who came through the park. I was just uh, coming through and uh, it's very interesting and, uh, and uh, it's nice to see it being done. I think it's kind of historic because I think since the first Winterlude ice carving has been involved, it's a great winter activity. Uh, not everybody has seen ice carvings before and uh, now it's at a point where this is probably one of the biggest ice festivals in the world. So it's kind of uh, nice to have it in our back door. This competition we had 18 blocks and each one's 300. You know, one of the things in ice carving that um, you need to do is you need to raise as much ice as you can, as high as you can because rather than um, looking down at a sculpture, you always want to be kind of looking up. With all the heavy lifting and pains of freezing fingers, many people might wonder why ice carvers do it. Oh, uh, that's easy. I want to win. Uh, at this point in my career, you know, I've been carving for a long time and, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I, I usually can get pretty good results within the top uh, five in, in these competitions, but uh, it's just that, that first place that eludes me. It's fun. It's, uh, there's a passion for it. The weather, uh, winter loot is a great place uh, to be in Ottawa and in Canada. As the day chiseled away, crowds of people rolled in to watch sculptures being formed out of huge blocks of ice. Reporting from Winterlude, I'm Courtney Smith for CJTV News.